So this is a quick video for all of us fans of the Sony a6300 and 6500, or really any camera that's chargeable and operable via an external USB power source. As we're all painfully aware of the fact that battery life on these cameras isn't great, hooking up an external power source to charge them and operate them is a really good idea. If the setup is still portable, it's hassle-free in use, and it actually gives us some decent milliampere hours to work with. So here's quite simply my first solution to that problem. It really is a super simple setup to build. This is the base plate with the 15mm rail mount. These screws we don't need though, so get rid of them. Both of them. That's what we want. Now this is the central piece of this setup. This is an Anker power core with 10,000mAh of battery power. As always with Anker, great value for the money. You can charge the power bank via micro USB and you can charge your device via a standard USB-A output featuring IQ technology. The power core features this little button up here and if you push it, the LED lights indicate how much charge is left in the power bank. Now you want to apply the power bank to the base plate exactly like this because this way you can still push the button and see how much charge is left. And we're going to do this using 3M dual lock. Now 3M dual lock is a heavy duty all plastic kind of velcro but all we need is two pieces of approximately this size. Remove the cover and now turn the power core upside down and apply the 3M right there. Right in the middle and on the flat part of the power bank right up here. Second piece of 3M is applied right on top of the first one. Again, remove the cover. And now you wanna place this right in the middle of the base plate. Apply thumb pressure. And this is what we're going for. Now 3M in and of itself is already a super secure solution. So chances of this coming undone are slim to none. Still, I wanna make it 100% secure. That's why I chose to use this tiny quick release plate, which is perfect for the job. This is the way it ships. All you gotta do is remove the screw from its center position and screw it in right here. This is where you want it. Because of the rubber padding, it's gonna fix the power core in place super securely. Now this is what it should look like. And now cable management. We're gonna use one of these tiny cable clamps. It opens to only one side, so pay attention to how it's applied. Remove the cover and apply it like this, right in between the connectors of the power bank. So it opens to this side. Now the cable I'm using has a right angled micro USB connector for the camera and a right angled USB A connector for the power core. And that's the basic piece. So now let's apply a camera. Now as you might have guessed already, to apply the camera we first have to take the power core off again. Now depending on the camera and the lens that you're using, you might run into problems applying the base plate to your camera. In the case of my a6500 for example and the 10 to 18 super wide angle zoom, I can't apply the base plate to the camera the way I want to without putting unnecessary pressure on the lens mount because the diameter of the lens is too wide for the base plate to be applied to the bottom of the camera level. It'll always put unnecessary pressure on the lens barrel if I fix it to the camera, as you can see right here. Now there's two workarounds for when you run into that problem. Number one is called a custom L bracket. Prepare the camera for accessing the multi USB port for charging. Get your cable out of the cable tie and then plug it in. And there we go. Charging light on indicates that now the camera is being charged and or run off the USB power supply. And if you're done with charging, cable goes back into the cable tie. Second workaround is using a cage. Once again, applying the plate, no problem at all. Because the cage has a lot more quarter inch mounts on the bottom, you have a lot more options when it comes to where to mount the plate. This way you can make sure to accommodate most camera form factors, always making sure that SD card and battery slot are accessible. Let's apply the power core. Once again, making sure the battery door still opens fine. Quick release plate and there we go again. Once again, if you want to start charging, open the door on the camera to access the multi USB connector for charging, get the cable out of the cable time and simply plug it in. And once again, there we go. Now more likely than not though, if you're using your camera's kit lens, you won't have any problems applying the plate. Simple as that. 
So there you go, an extra 10,000 mAh hours of battery power for your favorite USB chargeable camera. All of this within a compact form factor that's still lightweight, features cable management and has a super secure fit of the power bank. And if you're done charging, just unplug the cable, place it into the cable tie down here. This way, it'll always be part of the setup and you're never gonna forget to bring it. So if you liked the video, if you found it helpful, please make sure to leave a thumbs up, it's greatly appreciated. Any kind of comment or feedback is welcome and I'll try to answer as quickly as possible. Also, should you feel like supporting the channel, definitely check out the video description there might be some product links that are interesting for you in any case as always thank you so much for your time thank you for watching and hopefully see you again soon